good morning boys and girls uh, and uh, I'll make a quick review on uh, this net that I bought uh, reason I bought this net I had a standard net before but uh, I was having problems uh, the way I land a fish I um, stick it under my seat right and the net's there so I have my hands free but since the other net the handle is round I caught a big pike it just flipped over so to me it was a no-brainer to get something like this, this is the Frebil I think this came out like three years ago uh, for kayak fishing I think it's it's a, it's a great net it's a little heavy um, it's very sturdy it's very well made it doesn't float so you have to tether this um, and the only problem I get with this is the net itself because uh, you know you got the seam here and when the hook gets into the seam it's like it takes forever to unhook and um, that's about the only gripe I got I got about it but I'm gonna change the net I got an EGO type net which is which is uh, a little deeper and uh, I prefer that for the hook set like I don't care if the for bill name comes off <laughs> it's, it's my net I could do whatever the hell I want with it right so yeah so it's very easy to use like you use it like this and you just scoop up the fish right and when I when I um, put it under the seat I just go like this and my hands are free so I could undo the fish very easily and it won't go anywhere because it's square right and so it, it won't you can't like flip completely See, over it's I put impossible. the net under my seat and the bass is in here look at the size of this freaking bass that's amazing that is a big ass bass convenience is um, wow where to store it because it's kind of has an odd shape you can't put it in a rod holder or whatever so I just lay it down flat on my uh, my crate I don't know if you could see it I just lay it flat on my crate so when I, I catch a fish I just I just pick it up like that and it's very easy um, and that's about it I I know there's another company uh, that makes it called Green Tree. I've seen it. I, hand, I played with it. It's more expensive than this. And th these are on deal right now on, on Amazon. So I got like a $40 rebate on it. Uh, I don't know how much it is in the States. Here it's $80 Canadian, which probably around $60 American. It's a little steep in price, but it's a very sturdy net. It's very well made. Um, but yeah, for the green tree, it's more expensive. Um, it's more, I, I found it flimsy, like the, the handle is all plastic, so it, 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 it tweaks. Um, the net is an inch bigger and an inch wider, but the, the depth of the net's about the same. And it's the same type of net with that same stupid stitching. I don't know why they put that. You put a hook in there, it takes you an hour to get it out, so. Yeah, I'm gonna change that. But well, right now, uh, I'm not in Big Pike area, so uh, I'll do that over the weekend, I guess. So that's my review on the Frabil uh, net. Um, I recommend it. I, I give it a seven on ten. Um, that's an honest review. Uh, would I buy it again for sure? Uh, when you pick up a fish, especially on a kayak, it's like I wouldn't use that on a bass boat because you're higher up. But with a kayak, you're right there. And you just scoop it up. I, I slide it under my seat, and uh, I can work on the fish, no problem. I always land my fish uh, on my left side. Um, I don't know; it's the way I am. But uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think it's a great buy uh, if you could afford it. You know, some, some people won't put, you know, whatever amount on the net. There's more expensive on the market right now, so uh, it's not that bad. So I'll go out fishing right now and uh, have a good one.